also I'm gonna do an Adziri kill on my Marauder, start to finish. Share some of the information you need to do it safely. First things first, I'm gonna use these three regrets. And inspect out some damage, get the increased duration nodes. Have a longer duration on my immortal call. Not necessary, but it's a quality of life which is really nice. Horizon, it's our defense, 10k, 80 fall. The first boss is Veil, double Veil Oversol. So he has a couple of attacks. He has a Lightning Ball AoE, which is the most dangerous attack. Those of you that know Judgment Apparatus, it is the same attack, Ball Lightning. What you want to do to mitigate that is you need basically a spell block. It's one of the ways if you don't have spell block, you need life regen. More than 200. If you don't have either of these, you need to run Topaz last. Make sure you have shock removal, and I'd highly recommend using Enfeeble. So you don't get owned by the laser and the lightning ball, since he will shock you, and he does shock me even with like all my defense. So, other than the ball lightning, he also has, as I said, the laser. No, just dodge it, it has 100% chance to shock you. Then he has a Blizzard, that's like Rima's skill. Yeah, you just want to dodge that. Make sure you have cold res. My mana is gone. Yes, then bring an anti-free spot, dream fragments, all this stuff. Not bad, I'm gonna And of course, Veil also has a slam. TP outside in case something happens, but doubt anything's gonna happen. These are my pots for this fight. Like these two pots really are not necessary. These are all the pots you need. You need like three potions. The rest can just be topaz. So yeah, not a. It's a pretty simple fight. Don't get slammed. Keep your moral call up as melee. Or just dodge it manually. But when he goes up, he doesn't attack, he just summons, you get free damage. There. I'm spell blocking these, but not a spell block. You want to try and dodge them, feeble them. This laser does hurt when it does hit you. Attack. It's pretty annoying if you do not have spell block. I got shock stack there, but they're very short. What you want to do is you want to get both the bosses in culling range, and then the culling skill on both at the same time. Because as one dies, the other goes into turbo mode. Easy. DPS for that fight was 12.1k cyclone. Got the top ends and stuff. So the next fight is the room with the three bosses. I'm gonna change your potions for that. Get a granite boarding removal in case our mortal call comes out. But the whole like way to win that fight is basically a mortal call. Makes it extremely simple. Very simple. I'm gonna switch to life on it after. I'm gonna create a ton of bleed potions. Basically, so I'm safe for the cycloner in case I desync get into his chaos regen. Okay, my potions are looking good. Tons of bleeding. And it, that's just a just in case. Keep everything else the same. Past everything, kill a little bit at the end, just get some charges. So the three bosses inside this room is some of you may know Chaska, but different maps. It's 
basically Chaska again, but slightly different. Um, then there's uh, the Dual Striker. Enrages on low life and has a temp like half fire, half physical. Chaska is 100% physical, I should mention that. Then there's a the Cycloner, which is physical, but is corrupting blood on hit. He has a special wind up attack, and you know what I'm talking about when you see it. Then he also has a Chaos Degen on on the ground after he cyclones, and it hurts a lot if you don't have Kai Chaos Resist. That's why I'm wearing a Chaos Resist ring right now, a little bit of Life Leech. Beat this fight, you basically want to have your Mortal Call up at all times. Play it very safe. Feeble, but in Feeble, it's gonna use faster casting. Cause endurance charges out faster. The TP, just in case. Okay. When you go in, just chill here. If you want to know, that's Chaska. Fire Striker guy will spawn here, and the Cycloner will spawn somewhere behind her. We're gonna go around. Charge. That spell right there, that's a eight rain firestorm. It's considered a spell, but it's 100% physical damage. One hit end. Safety. Yeah, see, that shit hurts. I'm gonna cap up my endurance charges. Up mortal call. I'm gonna go for the cycloner first since chaos damage is my weakness right now. Everything else I can mitigate. Mortal call runs out. Run out. Gonna run in circles now. Take it. You can take your time. Take it slow. Like this is in a race. Hardcore. Get my moral call back up. I could probably could face tank, but there is a chance that I can get insta good, and it's just not worth the risk for the amount of time I could save. Pop moral call. Kill him again. But I cannot regen it. Go out. My mana is gone. Circle and get your insurance charges up. strike on him on my leap slam. So after you kill one boss, the other two bosses enrage and get stronger. Where this boss dies, he spawns adds. The adds are very good for keeping your moral call charges up with Enduring Cry. Cycloner spawns whippers. And they cast bone. Also the black ground is a physical degen. I'll show you guys in a second. I can just walk through this and not die at all. I'm gonna choose to kill Teddy Bitch next. Actually, no, let's kill the Duel Striker next. Change it up. At this point, for my build, it really doesn't matter for me since they're both like easy mitigatable. So the Duel Striker is doing half fizz, half fire. In Uber Siri, I'd probably kill Duel Striker second because of his fire damage, which will be skilled by a lot. Kill the Duel Striker second. I'd recommend you guys come second too. It's very DC key though. And make sure you keep your mortal call up at all times. You notice I'm not using my potions at all. They're literally like, oh shit, I fucked up the potions. Also, a mistake that some people have died to is They'll double tap their mortal call and then they'll have a zero duration mortal call. And they basically insta die. Yeah. So all we have is Chaska left, and the only damage in the fight is physical damage. So, mortal call equals GG, takes zero damage. My ES isn't even moving right now. And if you double tap your mortal call here, like, you're probably going to insta die, so be really careful. So 
little red blobs are coming from the dual striker. They honestly don't do much or anything at all. Not that I've noticed. Calling striker. Okay. Stop there. It's not calling somehow. Upon her death, she casts the rain, and it's going to last a long time, so we're just going to wait for it to finish. Check the loot. Yeah, just take your time. When you leave her last, this rain on her death lasts a very long time. And all the black pools disappear after. So, what are my potions? Or not potions? Yeah, my potions. Let's fight. Nearly in full life in, so I get more damage. You do need to have a solid amount of damage for a Ziri. For potions, we're gonna run two sea things. And one Topaz Flask for storm calls. Two rubies. Two of them being warding. I guess one being warding. I used to have a second warding. That would be a misclick. And I think it's amazing. My mana is two jacks here. Off to its area. Yeah, and be really careful when you're walking through. Like, you can get some pretty nasty rooms, and people have died running through. Just take your time. Mortal call, run through, or just kill everything. It's up to you. I'm just killing these mobs to get charges on my potions. Popping mortal call too, because why not? Potions. Skip everything now. It's all 70 map of all blue mobs, so it's basically a 71 map. Call the mobs if you want. Not necessary. Map base, go ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna do some final switches here. I've used my Aegis for the first two fights. I'm gonna repeat this, you do not need Aegis to kill Ziri. You do not need it. You can use a Crest Apprentice, but it's just nice to have. For Ziri, you wanna to switch to your Saffles. Put me at max spell block with my Stone of Lazar. Even without Rainbow Strides on as well. I have max spell block. I'm gonna switch rings. I no longer need Chaos Resist. So I'm gonna get some Dexterity so I can run Grace. Gives me more armor at the moment instead of determination. So, Jen, potions are good. Oh, I'm also gonna run temp chain spell totem. Looks good right now. For DPS, it's gonna be around 12k. EPS on the last fight was 8k. So yeah, you don't you don't need a lot of damage. Just need uh, to know the mechanics. Let's start up. Oh, she, it's already, she has a bunch of attacks. When I go in, she's gonna be in her first form. She's gonna be standing up in her first phase. You can use a uh, flame blast. Pretty easy to tank. You have good fire resist. She's gonna have a spear attack. You, you wanna have around like 8 to 10k armor. That should be fine. But, or you can go Anders Guile. Both are fine for the spear attacks. Uh, storm calls. She has two types of storm calls. She has red storm calls and yellow storm calls. Yellow storm calls equal run away. Do not face tank. Like, they hit for like 1.5k each. Just one without a pot. Or, even with the pot, like I just know they hit for a ton. Do not try to tank them at all. The red storm calls, like you can tank them if you want to, or you can just dodge them if there's too many. They don't hit for that much. So, just going and start. There's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, there's no cold damage in the map, so 
You can, you can run like negative 60 cold resist, it's fine. 200 regen, it's good for the spears since I cannot block. But all the spears are gonna hit me, hit me because of my R. 8 R resist, 98 with a pot. Maybe we can face tank the double flame blast. Let's go in. My mana is gone. Go in. Curse. This is a red storm call. So I have like 75 spell block, but I'm gonna play like I have zero spell block. Spell block is just like nice to have. And just face tank all that. This is the add phase. I'm gonna let these guys walk to it to show you. We're gonna go in and then just gonna heal there. But you wanna try and kill them. I don't believe they charge up their attacks or anything, but they might. So when killing the adds, you wanna you need a good AoE skill. So it's, this is why you need good damage and you cannot kill a Ziri without damage. It's gonna spin circles cut everything. She has an AoE spear attack. Can be dodged on her style. Single spear. Double flame blast. It has fire pen on it. If I did not spell block, I would have taken damage. Yellow storm call. Run away. And spirit like 1k. Queen of one. Have ball on me. This is a split phase. So she splits into four clones. Not gonna attack any of them just yet. There's a fire clone. Cast flame blast everywhere. Yeah, the spear checking one. It's very annoying. It's very frequent. Frequently throw spears. Stormcall one. Cannot be shocked. Just cast stormcalls everywhere. The mirror phase. Does not do any damage to you at all. Only if you attack it. It has like 100% reflect on it. I have a video on YouTube. See, I almost kill myself attacking it. So, kill this one. Now let's say I have no spell block. I'm gonna play. Run around. Kite. Very short cyclones and try to have the flame blaster spawn the flame blast away. Could be cursing here, but. It's a misplay on my part by not cursing. Need curses though, you should use it. Generally don't need it, so I hardly ever use them. Just run around circles, dodge the beers. The armor and the regen is helping me a lot, where sometimes you notice I'm constantly punctured. One thing to note about the spears is that they have a very large initial hit, but their bleed is very small. So in Ubritsiri, it's normal. Ubritsiri. Like, you can get hit for 3k by spear and then have like a very small bleed on you. Calling strike to finisher. It's back in here. It's usually AoE spears. Okay, we're back to add phase. I'm gonna call the adds this time. Temp change totem to slow down the adds, make it easier for me to kill. Come on, let's go. Kill that circle. I believe the add phase lasts for around 30 seconds. Actually, no, no. The normal add zero phase lasts for around 35 seconds, I believe. And after that, she automatically goes to add phase if you do not trigger her split phase. Dodge, double flame blast, pop a ruby just in case. Red flame blast, easy. All flame blast, pretty easy to tank. Just go for like 2k, but it's fine. This is the second split phase. She goes to the split phase at 75%, 50%, and 25% of her HP. Nice spell block there. One thing I like to notice as ranged, you can just stand in a corner and notice how the spear chucker is not throwing any spears at me. So, Edziri is extremely easy for ranged characters. This is melee, so I have to kite. Oh. 
It's a pretty sloppy kill. I haven't played my Marauder in three weeks, but doing fun. Or not? It's ideal if the clone you want to attack is opposite from the spear thrower. Those are very annoying. In this case I have the mirror form and I can't attack it. Calling strike. I'm gonna AoE spears here. She's gonna double flame blast. I'd like to note that the double flame blast is the only spell that has penetration on it. Nothing else has penetration that I know of. The yellow storm calls may have it, but I'm pretty sure they do not. It's just really high base damage. Go in a circle, wherever the mobs are, kill them. All right, as she comes out of ad phase, you can highly expect a double flame, a double flame blast to, uh, will come soon. Yep. Oh, I didn't spell block one. A crit. So I got ignited. Not much damage. If I by both, probably go around to one third. That's with the 98 fire resist. Fire Queen of one and all. Third split phase. He's taking a lot more stuff than I should right now. Good. I think that was gonna hit. Alright, add phase. Change totem down. And circles. AoE. I feel like LE boss or something, you can LE weakness for the adds. One thing to note is the adds cannot be frozen, so you cannot, cannot freeze them. It's like cheese it or anything. Flame Blast, 98 fire resist. Curse while I have my wording up. Yellow Storm Call is gonna just move out the way, play it safe. Flame Blast, heat. Have a double Flame Blast at the very end. And we've got a flask. That is the guide on how to kill a theory on invasion without dying. Thanks for watching. See you later.